Hi. I was sitting here looking at one of my books. This is uh, Algebra, an Approach via Module Theory by Adkins and Weintraub. And I was thinking about mathematics and I thought I should make this video to talk to you all about something. So sometimes you have to go away. You have to disappear. You have to be alone and do mathematics. You know, I think back to students I've had who have been in study groups. And that's good. There's nothing wrong with studying with groups, you know, helping people. You learn through teaching. I've, I've made entire videos on why mathematics should be a community effort. The famous Hungarian mathematician Paul Erdos was very much of that mindset. He would go from mathematician's door to mathematician's door and he would knock on their doors and he would say, my mind is open. And he was prolific. Paul Erdos, brilliant man. But the reality is Erdos, much like Ramanujan and Euclid and Galois, and many other great mathematicians, even mathematicians today, probably did most of their work in solitude. If you're struggling to learn, if you're, if you're having a hard time learning mathematics, if you can't focus, if you are searching for answers online, Maybe it's time you do it alone. Maybe it's time you isolate yourself just for a little while. Find a, a quiet place. If you don't have a quiet place at home, go to a quiet place, go to a library. Most places have libraries, most cities have libraries and they're usually relatively quiet. And go there at a certain time, by yourself. Don't talk to anyone. Don't text your friends. Be alone. Disappear into the mathematics. Sometimes you have to be alone to learn math. Be alone with your thoughts. You know, I, I was sitting here by myself. It's really quiet here. It's very, very quiet reading this book and just reading about modules. And I was thinking it's beautiful because I'm alone. It's quiet. I'm able to do mathematics. And I started to think about, you know, those, those 2 a.m. nights when I wake up at 2 a.m. when I was in graduate school and I would go to my kitchen table and sit there and work on math for an hour or two and then go back to bed. Well, not bed, I slept on the floor for a year. That's another video. Being alone is a superpower, especially in mathematics. You have the ultimate focus when you have isolation, just you, the book, a pencil, a piece of paper. There's something that is almost poetic about that. And if you can have silence, that's even better. I know a lot of people listen to music when they work. Uh, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure Paul Erdos had some very negative things to say about music. But Paul Erdos had, had a lot of opinions. But I sometimes listen to music too, but sometimes you need silence. You need silence and you need to be alone with the mathematics. And that could be the answer for you. You know, if you're struggling with math, do that. Tell yourself, you know what? Starting tomorrow, I'm going to dedicate one hour a day or even just 30 minutes. Don't do too much. Keep it, keep it minimal because you want to be consistent. I've talked about this before. You don't want to go crazy and spend four hours a day studying math. I mean, you can do that. 
But unless you are trained, unless you have the mental capacity to do that already, you're going to burn out. You need to build up to that, kind of like a, a bodybuilder. You know, they'll train three, four hours a day, but a regular person can't do that because they're not at that level yet. Mathematicians, professional mathematicians can, can work for hours on mathematics every day, but they are professional mathematicians. These are people who have incredible grit, incredible dedication, and they're usually fairly intelligent. But more than that, they have experience. They've grinded for years to get to where they are. For years. They didn't just study really quick and learn. It doesn't work that way. So isolate yourself. Take some time every day. Find a quiet location. No music. Nothing. No phone. As quiet as it can be. Maybe even put in earplugs if it's too if it's too noisy. And just isolate yourself. And focus on just the mathematics. And you're going to find something. You're going to find that when you first start to do this, your mind is going to drift. You'll sit down with the pencil. You'll start working on mathematics. And your thoughts will drift. You'll think, oh, where's my phone? Oh, okay, I have to study. Oh, I have to... That's okay. You're only there for 30 minutes to an hour. Right? This is your time to focus. And what happens is, the more you do it, the better you become at focusing. And you'd be surprised if you can keep it up for a month, a week, sure, but a month, you will become a monster. You will become a mathematical savage because you will be able to walk into that library or that quiet room and you will be able to sit there, put in your earplugs and isolate and focus on just the mathematics. It, it's, it's a skill, okay? It is a skill. It is a skill. Being able to sit down and, 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 and work on anything for an extended period of time is a skill, just like lifting weights, just like anything else in life. The more you do it, the better you get at it. It's not just getting better at mathematics. It's getting better at studying mathematics. And, and you get better at it the more you do it, especially in isolation. Because that's when you can train your focus. Sure, study groups are good. You make friends, you make memories. I'm all for that. But you need some alone time if you want to get to the next level. Especially with proofs. You need to sit there and think carefully. Learn to think slowly. Learn to focus deeply. Deeply. Extremely deeply. Ultimate focus. You build that through practice, not from watching a video on the internet, not from in a study group. No, you build that through solitary alone time, just like the great mathematicians, just like Ramanujan did, I'm getting goosebumps. But I always think of Ramanujan and he, he to me, he, I, I want to say he's my favorite mathematician, I think. Ramanujan, the story of Ramanujan is incredible. He was poor. He was from India. I just, it's, it's, check out the movie. Be alone. Be alone, my friends. Conquer math and you can become incredibly good. Isolate. That could be the key ingredient that you're missing in all of this. If, you, if you've tried everything and it trains your focus. So that's, that's probably the biggest thing you'll get from it. And this will translate to other areas of your life because it builds discipline. You're doing something every day at a certain time and it will help you with other subjects. If you're struggling with physics, you'd be surprised. After doing this for a month, your focus on physics will become better because you become better at studying. I hope it's been helpful. I have courses. The links are in the description. Check those out if you want. I have books. Links in the description. You can also ask me questions. Link is in the description. Go to my website. Go to the contact page. You can ask me questions. My books are priced in a very fun way. I did it on purpose. They're priced irrationally. Ebooks are two pi. Paperbacks are four pi. Hardcovers are eight pi. Isolate. Focus. Get better at math. 
can make a difference in your life. Stay strong, my friends.